how you can enter risk of bias judgments and support for judgments in Redmond Web that you have completed in the risk of bias to Excel tool. So as you can see, I'm now in Redmond Web. To the right, I have the Excel tool prepared. And what you then need to do is you need to, in Redmond Web, go to the analysis. And you're going to find the analysis where you want to add the risk of bias to, because it's results based, we want to actually add the risk of bias within the analysis. So you go to edit the analysis, and then um, for every analysis where you wish to include the risk of bias table, you need to go to the options and show the risk of bias table. And the reason we have this is because you might have sensitivity analysis where there's overlapping data, so you actually don't want to include the risk of bias table for that analysis. And so then we'll move back to the data tab, so you can see results have already been entered. Um, and let's start by entering risk of bias for the first result. So you go to the action here, and then you click add risk of bias. And then you get to this page where you can enter the results from the Excel tool. So what you're going to do is you'll find um, the corresponding study, so Amore Coffea, in the Excel tool. And then you'll find the first domain. So we have domain one here, randomization process. And then um, you have the judgments here, some concern, and then you have also the general note, which will be the support for judgment. So you copy that, and you go to Revman, and then you say, uh, some concerns, and then you copy and paste it. And then you can find uh, the next domain uh, and copy that content over to Revman. And so I'm going to just add some placeholder data for the sake of this demo. And then you can see how this will look like as we include it in the forest plot. Um, so I'm just going to enter placeholder data. And then uh, we go back to the analysis. And then when we go to the graphs, the uh, default will be to not um, not show the risk of bias summary. So that's also something where you um, should tick this box uh, to make sure that um, the risk of bias is shown in the forest plot, which is the uh, suggested methodology for risk of bias too. Um, and so as you can see here, now you have all the risk of bias. So we added the first row here, uh, and uh, already there was risk of bias for the other studies added. But you can see that there is one exclamation mark here that looks a bit odd. And this indicates that there's actually no data added. So Redman will actually tell you if you've missed to enter some data, and the validation report will throw an error. So you won't be able to submit your review before you've entered all the judgments and support for judgments that you need. So let's go and fix that. I'm just going to go to the data tab, find that uh, study, edit the risk of bias, and then yes, very well I can see here that um, there was no judgment and that's the reason. And then we can go back and see in the graph that yes, it's now amended. Um, and uh, basically the risk of bias for this uh, analysis should be complete. Um, so the next step is to have a look in the view of the review and, and look at how the risk of bias table looks like. So after you've made any um, major changes in RefMan, it may be good to um, tag a version of the review because this means that at a later stage, you can compare with this version 
um, you can also revert to it um, and so on. So that's always useful. So um, I'm going to tag and say entered uh, risk of bias. And then I'm tagging the version. And then I can select that version and view it. And so when the view is generated here, I can go down to the risk of bias section and you'll see all um, the judgments and the risk of bias uh, and the supports for judgments. Uh, so here we are. This is the risk of bias section that includes the risk of bias summary table and you can see here um, all um, the judgments and the support for judgments um, for this analysis. That's it from me. Thank you for listening.